Hey guys, welcome to the 106th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get text off of a web page. And for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a button, a text box, and a label. The web page that we're going to be getting uh, text off of is basically the web page on Bungie.net that displays all of your progress and information for Halo Reach. And you can obviously use the method that we're going to be using on any web page. Just this web page is a great example of it. So, and that's why we have the text of the label saying last played, because we're going to be getting the stat right here the last time you played the game. So once you have your form looking similar to this, just go ahead and double click on your get stats button. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create a web browser so that we can actually get the information off of the page. We're just going to call it equal to a new web browser. And when the user clicks on the button, you want to have them navigate to this web page right here. So we're just going to say wd.navigate to get to that web page, and then we're just going to pass through the URL of this web page right here. And right here where it says player equals, that's the uh, person's gamer tag that you're viewing. So since my gamer tag is Experiment 5X, it just says Experiment 5X right there. So if you wanted to view like Major Nelson's information, you just type Major Nelson in right there. So we're going to make it so that this will work for any person's uh, information, not just your own. So we're going to have the user enter in the person's gamer tag that they want to view the information about. So we're just going to have it, instead of saying experiment right here, we're just going to have it add whatever uh, text is in text box one. So just say text box one dot text. And now it will go to the web page of whatever gamer tag the user inputs in this text box. So now we're actually going to be going for this label, looking for this label. However, before we can do that, we have to wait until the uh, web page is loaded or until the document is loaded. So we're going to be using the um, document uh, completed uh, event. So we're just going to create a new event handler for that. We're just going to say plus equals and then hit tab twice to create a method. So now whenever when the web page is completely loaded then it will um, uh, do this method and whatever code is in here will be executed. And now that the web page is loaded we can actually look for this label right here. So in order to look for that, we're going to be using uh, we're going to do wb dot document. Oops, no, it's document it's document property, and then get use the get element by id uh, method. And basically, an element is just anything on this web page, and this is an element right here. So in order to get the id of this element, we're just going to want to right click on it and click inspect element. And you can only do that if you're on Google Chrome, and I suggest you download it anyways because it's a great program. But anyways, if you're on Google Chrome, you can right click on it and just click inspect element. And then right here, it'll just jump you right to the uh, spot in the web page's source where that is. So the code for this is right here. And as you can see, the text of this label is um, the 3rd of March, or the 27th of March, 2011. So. In order to get this text, we're going to be searching for it by its ID. So in the ID right here, it says equals whatever text this is. So in order to get this text, we're just going to double click on it and copy it. So now when we get element by ID, we're just going to type in the ID right here. And now it will just go right to this element right here, this label. Now in order to get the text of the label, we're just going to say dot inner text, the inner text property. And that will just get the uh, text right inside of uh, I don't know, these two things right here. So now we're going to set label one's text equal to that. Um, but we're also going to have the label's text say like last played. And then we'll just add this to it. So now I'm going to debug here and type in someone's gamer tag. I'll just type in Experiment 5x. I spelled it wrong. And click Get Stats. We should uh, see last played right here, and we should see the 27th of March in 2011. Yep, perfect. And this will obviously work for any other stat as well. For example, if we wanted to get like the armory completion. Repeat the process, just right click on it, click inspect element, um, copy the ID right here, so just double click on it, copy it, 
paste it in right here, right? or pass it through as a parameter for the get element by ID method, and then the inner text property to get the text of that label, or the text inside of these uh, two things right here. So we should get 16%. And let's actually set it equal to our notification instead of um, instead of uh, last played like an experiment 5x and we should see 16% armory completion 16% perfect so that's it for this tutorial so see you guys